Hey everyone, welcome to this Home Assistant Beginner's Guide. Today I'll show you how to get started with Home Assistant, create an account, install hacks, all the things you need to know when you first start with Home Assistant. So if you're new to home automation, don't worry, I'll keep things simple and easy to follow. So let's dive in. First step is we need to create a Home Assistant account and log in. So once you've installed Home Assistant and open it in your browser, as you see in my screen here, uh, in case you don't have Home Assistant installed, I will leave a link with the video on how to install Home Assistant on a virtual machine. So if you already have your Home Assistant installed, just log in, uh, just put your IP there and uh, let's start uh, creating the account. We need to press create my smart home. We need to put in a name. I will put uh, demo. I will leave the username demo and just choose a password. You can choose whatever name and username you like. We need to confirm the password and just create the account. Uh, I don't want to change the password, never. Okay. Uh, you need to set your home location here. I will leave it as it is, but uh, Please put in your uh, your address. Need to choose a country. I will choose a random one. Let's put UK. Next. And next. As you can see, uh, the system already found some compatible devices. This uh, screen I have here is a new Home Assistant installed. I have my own in the house. Uh, if you have already uh, smart devices in your home, it is likely that you can uh, uh, the, the home assistant will find them here. Let me just press finish, and this is the screen, and now you're logged into home assistant. Okay, now that we're in home assistant, we need to install a couple of things to get things running. We need uh, hacks, that's the home assistant community store. Uh, which lets you add awesome custom integrations, themes, and much more things. But before installing Hacks, we need to install the SSH terminal. Doing that, we need to do a couple of things. So we go to your username here at the bottom left, scroll down, and make sure this advanced mode is enabled. After you've done this, go to settings and look for the add-ons. We need to find an add-on called terminal SSH. Here you just press install. Now that it's installed, we need to show in the sidebar. We need to have it here and just press start. Okay, now that we have the SSH terminal installed, we need to install hacks. To do so, we need to open a browser and just type in hacks.xyz. This will take us to this web page, and we just press start using hacks, download hacks, and downloading hacks. Here you got uh, the instruction how to install. In our case, we use OS supervised. In case you use container or core, then you need to read the instructions from here. Then we're going to find this link. You just click on my link and it will take us to uh, the open page in your home assistant. In my case, this is my IP. In your case, it should be the IP you have. You just press open link and it will take us to the home assistant and we just press OK. After we've done this, we just press install. And now the hex is installing. Before pressing start, we need to uh, enable start on boot and we just press start. And now Hex is installed on your system. After we've done this, we need to reboot Home Assistant. We go to settings, system, and on the right side here, just press restart Home Assistant. Restart and it will take a little bit of time until it restarts. Now that Hex is installed, we need to add it to the integration. We go to settings and then to devices and services 
and add integration. Here we write hex, click on it. If you want, acknowledge all these options here and then submit. Uh, these options will take you to the GitHub login uh, page. Uh, I have an account already linked, so I'm not going to do that now, but it's straightforward. You need to create an account and uh, after you've done that, just paste in this code uh, after you press on uh, this link and uh, you will have your hacks installed on your Home Assistant instance. Now that the SSH terminal and hacks were installed, you're good to go. You can start automating your home. Of course, you will need smart devices to do so. On my next video, I'm going to talk about the connection for the smart devices, Wi-Fi versus Zigbee. Uh, which one should you use? And I'm going to show you an example or uh, on how to integrate the smart devices in the Home Assistant. And we're going to do an example of an automation with the devices we pair. Uh, that's it for this video. If you found this helpful, leave a comment and let me know what tutorial you'll like next. Thanks for watching.